again, everybody. Welcome back to the Insect News Network. I'm your host, E. Emmett Brady. And today I'm in a very unusual place at a very unusual time during the year. I'm in Oakland, California, and I'm here at one of the many beehive colonies that is operated by Queen of Sheba Honey here in Oakland, California, one of the premier urban beekeeping uh, businesses both here and around the world. And it's coming up on Thanksgiving. It's the day before Thanksgiving. We're having a, an exceptional cold spell today. And being amongst these honeybee hives, you get a fantastic perspective of what happens when the weather gets cold. So what do bees do during the winter? And as you can see right here, a lot of them keep working. But these are special bees because earlier in the fall, all of the spring and summer bees basically died off. They only live about six to eight weeks long. And during the winter time here in California, you don't have to do too much to the honeybee colonies because they know how to take care of themselves. It doesn't get too cold. But in other parts of the country where there's more snow or sleet, you have to insulate them with a blanket. But as you can see, these bees have a, an exceptionally high amount of energy for for this time of year being as cold as it is and as you can see we're not in direct sunlight. Well that's because they're newbies. The queen sets aside a certain number of cells and a certain number of eggs every year. Oh hi there, nice to see you. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> sorry, whenever a bee flies up in your face it, it always gives you pause. Now what's fascinating about what's happening inside this hive right now is that the worker bees cluster around the queen and they vibrate their wings. What this allows them to do is create thermal energy. They're ectotherms, of course, they're cold-blooded animals, and they require the sun to, to charge their day. But honeybees have a special system where the bees on the outside of them rotate down to the bottom, and the queen stays at the top. So there's this constant thermal heat that is caused by them releasing their wing muscles and vibrating around the queen keeps the inside the hive at almost a constant temperature year-round and it's one of the most fascinating evolutionary treats to be offered by the Western honeybee, the ones that live in the most temperate environments. So we're gonna wrap it up for this episode of The Inn. I'm gonna let these lovely ladies get back to their work and we're gonna come back and shoot here when the sun is out maybe in the spring and show you the difference between the wintering colonies there's only maybe a few dozen bees inside the spring and summer colonies when there's thousands. So until next time, we'll see you on the other side of the horizon, urban beekeeping in the winter on the Insect News Network. Imagine that.